Hey guys, Jack Gleason here with StartupTrading.com and in this video I'm going to be talking about how to look for, or what to look for, uh, for morning reversals or trend changes. And specifically here we're looking at the NASDAQ, so we're looking at a morning reversal in the NASDAQ into the European session. We have a consolidation. Basically this gap down here is the open, so we open up and then really until about 11 o'clock, we found you find a low right at 11 o'clock and I actually got long this level. But the the confirmation when I bought this, I like to give my trades uh, 25 minutes to to really work themselves out to kind of know that, hey, I'm in the right uh, general direction of the trend. The way to tell that you're right is the speed at which the market moves your direction. So I actually got long right around here at 11 o'clock, somewhere around like 14,575. Uh, and I had a support level right there and you can see that's the first five minute low. But really it was that following candle back up through the volume weighted moving average. You can actually see at 1105, the size of this candle is 42 points, which is pretty big. And what these yellow bars represent uh, I'm going to go back. The yellow bars represent um, what is one and a half times the average true range. Now, at this point in time, this bar did not print yellow, but what it was within within 25 minutes, you know, from this low. This is basically the lowest point we touched outside of that first half an hour. 25 minutes later, so here's 11 o'clock. You have 11:05. 11 15, 11 10, 11 15, 11 25. This is 11.25. So within 25 minutes, we are above that previous swing high. So that's that's what you want to look for for a potential reversal in the indexes. Are we getting back above the previous swing high since coming out of the low? Now a lot of people look at this and call it a hammer candle. Well, a hammer candle is really useless without any continuation. So pay attention to the uh, following 25 minutes after entry, that's really going to tell you how strong your level is. And uh, just a quick note before I end this video, something I'm looking for tomorrow is going to be this Russell support level here, guys. I have a big Russell support level at 2220. Uh, the Russell's been leading us lower. The 2220 level, I'm going to go to a daily chart here in the Russell, is a full 50% retracement from the lows of what was the June contract. Uh, too high. That's 2220. That's right where this market had closed, and it's something to pay attention to as we go into the Asian session in tomorrow. That's going to wrap up this video. If you enjoyed this content, give it a thumbs up. Feel free to leave a comment below, and I will respond to it. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next one.